Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what are trainable classifiers in Microsoft Purview. I will just log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal purview.microsoft.com. When you are at the home screen, click on information protection on the left pan and under classifiers, you will see trainable classifiers. See the categorizing and labeling content so it can be protected and handled properly is the starting place for the information protection discipline. And uh, Microsoft Purview has three ways to do it. It can be done manually, it can be done using automated patent, pattern matching and using classifiers. We will discuss about automated pattern matching but in here we'll discuss about trainable classifiers. So what are classifiers? So this categorization method is well suited to the content that cannot be easily identified using either the manual or the automated pattern matching methods. This method of categorization is designed to use a classifier to identify an item based on what the item is, not by elements that are in the item. A classifier learns how to identify a type of content by looking at hundreds of examples of the content you want to detect. Okay, we are all we can use classifiers, we can use them in auto labeling office files with sensitivity labels. We can automatically apply a retention label policy based on a condition, and we can use them in data loss prevention as well. There are two types of classifiers pre tained pre-trained classifiers and then custom trainable classifiers. Pre-trained classifiers are ready to use. Uh, we can just start using without training them and then custom trainable classifiers if there is a need to identify and categorize our content beyond what the pre-trained classifiers cover. Okay. Obviously, when the pre-trained classifiers won't meet our needs, we will create and train our own classifiers. Okay. And to create a custom classifier or a trainable classifier, we start by feeding it one set of examples that are definitely in the category and another set of examples that are definitely not. So if you want to actually follow a process flow for creating custom classifiers, so it involves the process of for creating and publishing a classifier for use in compliance situations such as retention policies and communication supervision. And here we want to get started. So two steps are required for implementing a, implementing a custom trainable classifier. So it will be like this. So you provide two sets of sample data okay one set that contains only items that belong in the category a set contains only items that do not belong into the category so that it can differentiate belong to category all right then you test the classifier's ability to detect the matches all right now make sure that you have you have met all the licensing requirements like I was getting that pop-up because I do not have Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 compliance. You must have one of these subscriptions. And you also should have permissions to use classifiers in the scenarios. Let's say you want to do retention label policy, sensitivity label policy or communication compliance policy. You should either have record management, security administrator or insider risk management administrator permissions. Now, if you want to prepare for a custom trainable classifiers to, to understand more about the workflow of creating custom classifiers, please also check out the Microsoft documentation which 
specify the flow for creating custom trainable classifiers. So the first thing that we do is we seed the content. What does actually mean by this? To ensure that we that our trainable classifier can independently independently and accurately identify that an item belongs to a particular category of content, we must present it with many samples of the type of content in the same category. All right, this feeding of samples to the trainable classifiers is known as seeding. And at least we should provide 50 positive samples up to 500 and at least 150 negative samples that are required to train the classifier. Now how to create a trainable classifier. So select the appropriate portal first. Depending upon your Microsoft 365 plan, the Microsoft Purview compliance portal is retired or will be retired soon. In here, you it is still the the following process is still in preview, but it automates the testing of trainable classifiers and shortens the creation workflow from 12 days to two days. So you collect at least 50 to 500 seed content that strongly represent the data you want to the classifier to positively identify as being in the category. Now you collect the second set of uh, seed content that represents data that don't belong in the category. Okay, then you place the positive and negative seed content in separate SharePoint folders. Right. Then you sign into the Microsoft Purview portal. Then you go to data loss prevention. I will X out of this. In here. Choose the trainable classifier tab. I don't have the option to do it. And then you will get an option to create a trainable classifiers. And then there will be an option to add the source of your positive samples. You select the SharePoint site, library, and a folder URL for the seed content. That should be detected by the classifier. And then you will get an option to select the source of your negative samples. You just review and the settings and choose create trainable classifiers. And uh, within 24 hours or less, the trainable classifier processes the seed data and build uh, builds a prediction model. The classifier status is in progress while it processes the seed data. When the classifier is finished processing the seed data, the status changes to training is complete and items have been tested. You'll get this message. So once the training is completed and items have been automatically tested, you can publish the classifier by selecting that option again in here. So if I go come back to the last option, then uh, after training is completed of the classifier, you publish it for the use. Okay. And then you test it. 
wants the tradable classifier processes enough positive and negative samples to build a prediction model you need to test the prediction it makes in testing the classifier you verify whether its predictions are correct once all of the data is processed go through the results manually and verify whether each prediction is correct incorrect or you're not sure the microsoft will use this feedback in aggregate to improve the prediction model all right so if you want to read more about it learn a little bit more about sensitivity labels sensitive information types entity definitions document fingerprinting learn about exact data match based sensitive info type information types all right i hope this was informative to all of you if you have any other queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day